Welcome to Are You New Here? I'm Chris McConnell on the home base team with eXp Realty. We're out getting to know our neighbors here in Wilmington. Today we're back down at Independence Mall, this time at Stuff Mill Restaurant, Butchery and Wine Bar. Let's see what's new here. So uh, you may remember our, our host from a previous episode of Are You New Here? I, I'm here with Dave, co-owner of Snuff Mill. Dave, thanks for having us over here. Thank you. Uh, so Dave, uh, are you new here? So we are definitely new here. Very new, I feel like. Uh, so we opened in July of 2021 uh, in this building. This actually used to be uh, my former uh, wine shop, Swig, uh, which you, where, you, where you probably met me last. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, every, the ceiling was here, everything was here. I, my, uh, I had the cash register right over there. Uh, but uh, along with our partners, we opened up, uh, opened up Snuff, and uh, it's been fantastic ever since. Nice. I, I, I know there's uh, getting some positive buzz around the place. Uh, what would you say is the best thing about this place? Well, I might be biased, but I think we run one of the best steakhouses uh, on the East Coast at this point now. Uh, and I think it's got one heck of a beverage program, because that's, uh, that's what I'm in charge of. Um, from the cocktails to the wine curation, I guess uh, owning a, a wine shop uh, is enough to let me uh, run the, the be be beverage program here. So Nice. Well, I, I noticed uh, there's an entire section on the menu of Amaro. Can, can sure. you speak to the in entire catalog you have there? Yeah, so Amar um, I have a big passion for Amaro, which uh, is an Italian bitter or an Italian liqueur um, made all over Europe, but it's more synonymous with, uh, with, with Italy. Uh, it's something we focus on at the wine shop, and when we opened uh, Snuff here, and I knew I was going to be doing the beverage program, uh, I knew I wanted to highlight Amaro. So there's, uh, gosh, I think 30 different Amaros that we have uh, by the glass here, um, and then we also use uh, Amaro uh, to construct a lot of our cocktail program. Okay, awesome. Uh, like we've talked about before, there's been a lot of changes here, and I know this is more of a new place, but say, well, compared to when you first opened to now, is there anything new here compared to that? Um, I can't think of anything. And, it, and, it doesn't, and exactly, it doesn't happen. That's part of, of, of the great thing about having a new place, sure. that there's not necessarily anything uh, to talk about now, right? How yeah. about uh, going forward? I know that you're, you're a new place here. Let's say your plans for the next year or two. Anything new on the horizon here at uh, Snuff Mill? Well, uh, we've I, we're always uh, we're, we do want to get bigger at some point. I think I think that's on the horizon. Um, uh, getting bigger, trying to just perfect what we do here. Um, it is uh, it is sort of luxury dining, um, so we're always trying to to better our game. Whether um, it's on the bar program or service or in the kitchen, we're trying to give the best. Um, the best experience and the, uh, from a food and a service perspective that we can. So we're always challenging ourselves to do that. I recognize the, that, that challenge and I appreciate that. Seems like both at SWIG and here that, that you're out trying to just educate the public in a lot of different ways. So uh, with that in mind, can you educate me on some Amaro? Sure, so I tell you what, I'll pour you, uh, might be a little early, but I'll pour you Brolio is one of my favorites, if I can get it off. <laughs> this is an alpine. So this is uh, definitely one of my favorites. You get a little herbal alpine component here. Definitely shows you the little bitterness. Give you a little pour there, sir. Nice. And can you speak to the before and after dinner as to as opposed to when? You so you might these? be familiar with um, the definition of a mark. It's a little tricky. Um, some people will put uh, things like Campari and Aperol. Those red bitters are certainly in the Amaro family, but um, sort of a different category to itself. If you're in Italy, if it's red, it comes before the meal typically. And if it's dark like this, like a bolio, you're going to have, uh, you would be at the end of the meal. So smooth. I was not, you, you say bitter and you don't ex necessarily expect smooth, but. So yeah, after, uh, after a big ribeye or a big steak dinner, uh, there's nothing better than having a, a nice glass of Amaro to kind of get the digestive juices going and kind of settle, settle things. Yeah, well, I don't 
you're making me want to have that ribeye right now and, and, and wash it down with this. And I guess throughout the whole process, I, I appreciate you over at SWIG and here at Snuff always educating us and, and leading us to a, a, a better tasting all around. So thanks, man. Thanks, great Dave. to see you again, man. Always a pleasure. Big thanks to Dave here at Snuff Mill Restaurant, Butchery, and Wine Bar. Be sure to check them out at Independence Mall and check them out at snuffmillbutchery.com. We'll see you next time on Are You New Here?